Good morning, everybody. My name is Nakia Trader. Thank you so very much for joining me for another verse of the day. Today is December the 14th, and I'm so excited to be able to bring God's word to you once again. But as always, before we get started, let's pray to the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you in Jesus' name for waking us up and allowing us, Lord God, to see another beautiful, wonderful day you made. Father God, we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Father God, we alone worship you, Lord God, alone. Father God, for you alone are worthy. Lord God, in Jesus' name, we pray that your Holy Spirit will lead and guide us in your truth, that our hearts and minds be open and receptive to thus saith the Lord. We pray that you'll correct us. Lord God, as we need correcting and show us what we need showing, Lord, that we may grow continuously in the grace and in, in the knowledge and the image of your son, Jesus Christ. Father God, we don't ask these things that we may boast or brag in ourselves, but boast and brag on you, Father God, in you, because we know where information and knowledge and wisdom and revelation comes from. And that's you, Lord. We trust every word that you say. We might not understand, but we trust. Help us to apply your word, God, that we may give you glory. Lord, when you do these things, we'll be mindful to give you praise, honor, and all the glory. Do your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So today's verse of the day is found in 1 John chapter 2, verse 17. And the world is passing away in the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Okay, so the Apostle John is telling us in previous verses, I believe starting with verse 15, that the world is passing away. That the things that we so naturally set our affections on, um, such as, you know, gluttony, um, pride, um, uh, entertainment, uh, money, status, power, clout in general, um, you know, all those things basically that we set our minds on um, naturally. He says all these things will pass away. In fact, the Apostle John tells us not to set our heart on these things. And he's speaking to Christians. Um, I'm not even sure new believers, but Christians in general, where he's telling us this. Now, as Christians, we should probably already know it, but we are in this body still. So a lot of times we still wrestle um, a lot with our our flesh. Um, yeah, we, we wrestle a lot with our flesh because the flesh is hostile against the spirit because the flesh wants to do what it wants to do. And the Holy Spirit is going to rain it in, right? But again, the Apostle John is is telling us in today's verse of the day, kind of going along with um, what we were just talking about, that the world is passing away. So as we speak, as we're even doing this verse of the day, the world is decaying before our eyes. I don't know um, if any of y'all have noticed, but um, we can see things changing whether at a rapid pace or a slow one. I can tell you um, things that I've noticed when I was a kid, and I'm only 32 years old, but things I've noticed when I was a kid, like 10. So, so like in the span of like 20, 22 years, I've seen weather change drastically. I'm not talking about tsunamis and random tornadoes, even though that has occurred, and random earthquakes in Delaware. I'm talking about seasons, uh, when I was a kid, we had blizzards upon blizzards, okay? But in the last 10 years or so, we haven't had barely any snow that has fallen on the ground. In fact, our winters are quite warm. Um, our summers are excruciating. And it's, it, it's just, I'm saying all this to say how much things are changing. And they're not changing for the better. They're getting worse. The earth is decaying. In fact, I believe it's the Apostle Paul that says in Romans 8 that the, the earth is groaning like a, a woman in childbirth for the, the sons of redemption, right, uh, to, to, to be redeemed, you know. So the earth is groaning and decaying before our eyes. So the world is passing away. It's not getting better. It's not, it's, it's, it's not you know. And these things are going to happen because of sin. The world was subjected under this bondage, under this decay that is going, um, that is enduring right now because of the sin of man. And 
John tells us that not only the world is passing away, but the lust of it. So everything that we set our minds, heart, and affection on, like I was saying earlier, that is going to go away as well. The thing that you love, no, that, okay, let me say it like this. The thing, like, let's just say this, I love my computer, right? That computer is not going to endure forever. It's, go, it's passing away. And my love of that computer is going to pass away as well. So all of that is going to pass away because it's temporary. It's temporary. Therefore, the apostle John tells us, he who dwell, who he who does the will of God abides forever. Only when your affections, your hope, your 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 possessions are rooted in God. As long as you abide in the Lord, that is what will last forever. So, the Lord and I set my affection on the Lord. The Lord lasts forever and my affections last forever because the Lord lasts forever. That computer that I love is not going to last forever, so neither will my affection to it. But when we set our affection on God, our hope, our trust, our everything, who we are, set it on God, we will know and be sure that because he is eternal and lives forever, so will our affection in him. So will our hope in him. God has has no start, no no ending. He has he's from everlasting to everlasting. He, who who he was is who he is and who he will always be. And brothers and sisters, let us not put our confidence in things that are going away. Only put it in God himself because only he is eternal. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters, for tuning in for today's verse of the day. I hope and pray you come back tomorrow for another one. And until then, may God bless you. Have a beautiful and wonderful day. Bye.